Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 60 of Let's Find Him Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Alright, get ready for a little surprise, or a big surprise. Whoa! Giant carp. I've never actually watched it swim away. <laughs> Alright, yep, giant carp destroys the bridge, luckily we've got our prosthetic, so we can get by anyway. Alright, this is a very, very difficult section. Um... If you can get through this without dying, uh, you, you've done a very good job. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to actually make that happen. Uh, let's see, first I want to do this, and then I want to try, hang on, I'm pretty sure this is possible. Come on, surely. Is it on this one then? Hang on. There we go, oh, hang on. Huh? Son of a... That was it on this one too. Gotcha. Alright. So, was there a guy up here? I thought I saw one. Yep. Alright. Okay. Let's take this guy out. So, there are a lot of enemies here, and they're all extremely powerful. Um, well, I mean, by themselves, they're fairly strong, but when, you know together they're even stronger. This one is a weird one, um, we're gonna see these a few more times as we go. They like use a ball as their um, attack method essentially and they just like try and kick it at you and you, you can deflect it um, but yeah it's um, can get tr quite troublesome. Uh, let's take this one out and hope the other one doesn't notice me. Nice. Now take this one out. Just try and follow follow my path here and you should be fine. Ooh, right, this one noticed me. The thing is the ones with the ball, if you can hit them a few times, you can see their health is almost non existent, so yeah, it's they're they're okay. Alright, now there are two lightning dog enemies here. Hmm. Nice. I actually waited. I was like trying to work out how, how I should take him out. Huh. You can go up there as well. Jeez, huh. that's a big leap. I'm actually going to take advantage of that because if you come up here, you just get a light coin purse, I think. Oh, go and sugar, sorry. Um, and it saves us from getting it later. Okay, now where are those two enemies over there? So there's two enemies right there. Um, and luckily those other ones are quite far, so it's just a matter of running, jumping, targeting, R1ing. And then trying to take this one out without getting pushed over to the other side. One, two, three. Nice. Oh. Alright, cool. That worked out fairly well. Whoa, okay, so we got a bunch of people. Nope. Damn it. That's not good. Oh my god, the amount of times they repeat that attack. Okay. You can also do like a spiral spear kind of thing. That seems to work pretty well. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, good. All right, we should be okay. Although there's one over there, so that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Poke. Oh gosh. Ow! Okay, there we go. When I see them like so close to their um, posture maximum, I'm like, how is that even possible? Alright, where's the one that was noticing me? Oh, it might have been a dog, actually. There's one there. I'm doing this because, like, I'm killing that dog there because, um... I can get the vitality bonus back. Oh, yeah, I can, I'm can. i using the vitality thing to get that back. Alright, let's try this one here. And then last one. Well... Not last one, but one of the last ones. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those stealth air death blows in a while. Alright, so there's two enemies over there, and my Gutchins is probably about to run out. I'll just re-equip it right now. I'll refresh it. Okay, so... Oh, that one saw me. So the one... Oops. That's bad. The one with a ball can actually use, like, a lightning attack. It's actually the same as... But one of their weaknesses is if they jump in the air... Hang on, I'll try and show it off. If they jump in the air, you can actually use the anti-air death blow ability. I can't show it off now, but I probably will be able to show it off at some point. Beautiful. Alright, I think I've cleared out most of the enemies in this area. Which is good because, like I said, it can get quite dangerous. Quite quickly. Okay, so there, there. Yep, yeah, okay, we should be good. So now let's see if I can collect all these items. So the way I did it was I collected this one here. And then if you look to the right, there's an item there. It's the same item as we picked up before. Me Bibbulon of Soul. Then we go left, follow this stream up. And we get to this one here. Ceramic Shard, then you go up here. There were two dogs here, but we took them out. And get this one, which is an eel liver. Then we hop up here. And there's one there with some dogs. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was right on him. Alright, maybe a possession balloon. Same thing. Oh, I was like, what is happening? So you can actually leap onto that thing there. Gives you an opportunity there. Oh. There we go. Alright, so now that they're done, we can go... Let's see, I'm going to... Grab onto this thing if I can. Ah, oh, I was like, what's that from? Yeah, if you kill enemies on the platform above, um, they sort of seem to fall through the platform. Um, hmm, I never went down there actually. Yeah, they kind of glitch out and the models sort of fall through the platform. They kind of like dangle. <laughs> I had one the other day, it wasn't... It wasn't this area, but it was another one, and it was so funny. It was, like, stuck halfway through the ground. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, if we come up here, I'll just quickly show you this. So, there's, like, a little secret here behind the waterfall. Oops. I think it might only be accessible from the other side, though. I love when he does that, when he jumps off a wall and he kind of, like, leans forward. Let me try that again. So if you go here, leap onto this part, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I think you can make it, it's just... Oh, I, I'm jumping on the wrong thing, that's what it is. Hang on. Get up here. It's, yeah, it's a little confusing, this area, but... Um, it's all, like, workable. So you go there, and then you can actually jump to this thing. Okay, cool. So yeah, I actually got like stuck here trying to work out where I was supposed to go, but you go here, go to that branch, go to that branch, and then you go here. Now there's a door here, but it's actually closed. I half got into a boss fight there, but that's okay. Now you're supposed to take out these two guys, and I really wish I had used my gutchins, but it should be okay. one about to say something? I feel like one of them was about to say something. Um, okay, so there is a... There's a sculptor idol over there, and there's a whole bunch of enemies right there. Uh, but we're going to skip those for now. Instead, we're going to go back this way. We're going to use the Garchins. We're going to take out two enemies. I think they're just under here. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Tried to deflect it, didn't work. Alright, so 
take out those two enemies. Uh, now, <laughs> the annoying thing is I can't get back up there. I mean, I can, but yeah, I have to go the long way. Okay, so let's try that again. Go up here. Random boss fight activates for a few seconds. Let's get this item over here. Pellet. And then what you're supposed to do in order to like clear out this entire area is turn around here and try and jump to that one. And that puts you like there's sort of no other way to get up here from, from this point. You go here, just check around. Now you can go that way, but all it leads to is that roof that we went to before and collected the Gokan sugar from. So you can go in here and there's some weird like silver lizards. I don't know what they're supposed to be, um, or geckos, the geckos slash lizards in this game look like the uh, crystal lizards from Demon's Souls, so could be an allusion to that. I don't have a, uh, where is it, gouging top, oops, there we go, who's hurting me? Okay, so now we jump out here. You got a nice little section on this side, yeah. So this took me a while to figure out like the branches or the root is there to get up to that side, but you can't actually get to this side without going through the cave. Okay, let's go over here. Some spirit emblems. That's all there is. There's a sculptor idol. Just quickly check around here. I think there's one item here. Yeah, here we go. More divine confetti. That's good. Alright, awesome. Now. Someone we haven't seen in a long time. Hello? Hello? I'll talk to them in a sec. Uh, okay, good. Good experience. Good sen. Alright, we have found... Not the same one, but another one. This is another pot noble. This one I think is called Komemori. Alright, uh, pot noble Koremori. Sorry, not Komemori. Uh, purchase items with scales. So, he has only three items for sale. Dragon's Blood Droplet, two Lapis Lazulis, and the Mask Fragment left. So, um, we don't need this uh, for right now. We do need this. Uh, these are Precious Azure Lazulite, used for the highest level of prosthetic tool upgrades. Fountain Head Lazulite is a symbol of eternity and anything forged with it will never break nor rust thanks to the blessing of the divine dragon. Tools, for, tools forged with lazulite transcend human intellect and are dubbed as treasures of the divine dragon. So we currently have 14, um, 14 scales. Now before I actually buy anything, I just want to quickly check something. So we have 14 scales. Do we have the mask fragment right? We do not. Do we have... This one, I, th I think it was Floating Passage, I can't remember, we do. So that cost five. And do we have the... We do, okay. So I believe I have used seven treasure, treasure carp scales already uh, in this playthrough. And I have 14, which means I picked up 21. So there should be 23 left to collect. So the first thing we're going to do is... It doesn't really matter what you... Like, you could skip this right now and come back later. But I'm just going to buy both of these. Just to get them out of the way. When you do that, uh, you can talk with Pot Noble Kor Koromori. And he'll tell us a few things. Okay, 
Okay, let's listen to his secret. Alright, and we get our first truly precious bait. This is truly precious bait. If bait has hair, you know it's something truly special. The Fountainhead Palace Noble in the pot is obsessed with becoming one with the Master. Present this bait to the Master, the Great Carp. Offer it earnestly, but quietly, so no one knows. Alright, anything else? Okay, yeah. So, I'll quickly explain how that works. Basically, the idea is uh, if you spend, uh, and I don't believe I knew this at the start of the playthrough, in fact, I'm pretty sure I didn't. If you spend at least, I think it's seven or twelve, I think it's seven. If you spend at least seven um, treasure carp scales with either Pot Noble, um, you'll be able to um, get the truly precious bait. And both Pot Nobles will actually have uh, truly precious bait to offer you. Um, I've done, I've like used both types of truly precious bait um, nothing seems to change necessarily like it I mean there there is one difference but in terms of like progression and all that there's there's no difference um, regardless of which one you, we use so I guess I'll just make that determination uh, when we get there <laughs> that's amazing that that, 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 that worked all right so I think for the last minute I'm gonna try my best to get to the uh, sculpt idol and see if I can do it without dying so I think there might be enemies here aren't there I oh, know it's the other ones I'm gonna try and get these two out of the way first I probably should have finished that off <laughs> See if I can quickly beat these and head to the sculpt idol. There's no real kind of like effective way to do this, so I'm just gonna try and go straight to the pistol ninja to try and like just hit everyone. I don't know if like it increases the range on that ability. I don't think it does. Nice. <laughs> okay, not bad, not bad. Wow, that was shocked for a really long time. Now this last one, the one that was dancing in the middle, can be quite a pain. Two, three, four, five. Nice. <laughs> All right, we got through it, and we get our dragon, sp another dragon spring sake. So if I have an opportunity, I'll try and use that on someone. I'll give that to someone. Alright, we get to this sculpt idol as well. Beautiful. Alright, so we're basically, to give you an idea, we're basically halfway through the Fountainhead Palace already. Maybe even a little bit more than halfway. Um, anything? I can't get anything right now. I'll probably start going for these ones here, Ichimonji and all that. Because they can unlock pretty quickly. 
Um, Alright, yep. Yeah. But we're doing really well, so we'll uh, continue next time and see what we can get up to. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 60 of Let's Partner with Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.